What's up, Robert? I used to like your movies. Now they all suck to me somehow. Robert De Niro decided to go to New York or wherever it was to give a speech about Joe Biden and Donald Trump, and it was horrific. Let's break this down. New ad campaign, campaign reaches outside the bubble to remind supporters of what a danger he is to our lives. This is not a threat. This is a reality. And that's why I've joined the Biden-Harris campaign, because the only way to preserve our freedoms and hold on to our humanity is to vote for Joe Biden for president. Somebody explain this to me. Why is it that actors and actresses think that anything that they say has weight in terms of who's gonna be the next president? Are you making the decisions for them? Are you on the phone with Joe Biden saying, hey man, go have an ice cream cone, put your diaper on and then fuck up the country. Is that what you're telling them? Because you sure as hell are showing them a lot of support and I'm confused on why you're doing it. This new ad campaign, campaign reaches outside the bubble to remind- First of all, whoever set their car alarm off during this, you're a legend. Pretty behind him. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing, just stand there and shake your head in approval of Robert De Niro, okay? But let's talk about what he said really quick. How is Trump a danger to this country. You know what he does? He plays golf and then tries to save the country. That's what he's doing. But what are, what are you doing? You're sitting there saying, oh, well, he's such a danger, so you gotta vote for the guy who doesn't even know he's president right now. You okay, man? What happened to the badass in all your movies? Really? Do, we don't have a choice. On January 6th, while Republican lawmakers despicably tried to keep the loser Trump, the loser Trump, in the White House, and Trump-inspired insurrectionists stormed the Capitol, brave men and women from law enforcement put their lives on the line to defend this country, our democracy. They are the true heroes. These guys are the true heroes. They stood and put their lives on the line for these low lives, for Trump. Oh, that's nice, dude. You brought up January 6th. Haven't we all seen the footage of this? How long are y'all gonna be unrealistic about what actually happened? They were escorting people in. The police were walking people in. People are sitting there looking at paintings like, oh, that's pretty cool, look at that. And then Ashley Babbitt got shot, which that guy hasn't been prosecuted, hasn't anything. An unarmed person shot. But somehow you guys take it and say, oh man, look at these domestic terrorists. If you can't be realistic about events and how they happened and look at facts from the event, how can anybody sit here and listen to you and say, oh yeah, this guy's telling the truth. I should trust what he's saying. You can't. Guess what, dude? You're a fucking actor. What do you think you're doing right now? You're acting. Unless you're simply stupid, which is a possibility. There are a lot of stupid actors out there. But unless you're stupid, then you're acting. You might as well have a movie set out there with you right now because you're acting. You're not being truthful about what happened in January 6th or any of this other crap. So what is this, a Robert De Niro movie or a legitimate speech from Robert De Niro? Which one is it? Because no one knows. I don't know about y'all, but right now I have zero faith in the way our banking system works. There are banks failing left and right. When you wanna pull out your own money, you gotta go through 15 million different questions just for them to give you your money. And it's one of the reasons why I diversify some of my cash into precious metals. And the only company I trust to do that is American Hartford Gold. Inflation is through the roof right now, and one of the ways to counteract that is investing in precious metals. They have a bunch of different experts that will help you diversify your portfolio, whether it be you wanting to turn your retirement fund into precious metals or simply get your bank account a little more diversified. They have a five-star rating on the Better Business Bureau. They have a buyback guarantee. And right now on your first order, they will give you up to $15,000 of free silver. So to take advantage of this offer, call 844-940-0662 or text HEAVY to 65532. They're great. They'll have one of their experts walk you through your options. And a big thank you to American Heart for Gold for sponsoring today's video. They lied under oath. Who lied under oath? Those what are you, what are you telling me? Those two traders lied. Excuse me? Those two traders lied. They lied under oath? That's right. What are you saying? They're traitors. 
They're, tra they're traitors. You got I don't know, I don't even know how to deal with you, my friend. I don't even know how to deal with you. They stood there, they didn't have to. And there were other ones in there who probably were in with them a little bit too, and they found a way to get around. Not these guys. They stood there and fought for us, for you. For you. No, they, no, they fought for you, buddy. You're able to stand right here now. What are you gonna do, bro? Once again, this ain't one of your movies. You get so triggered by some guys saying that the January 6th committee and all the cops and everybody else lied under oath. It's a fact. You know why you don't know how to deal with the guy? Because you don't know how to deal with the truth. Because most likely you got a call from the Biden administration or whoever else, and they were like, hey man, do you wanna go make a speech? By the way, you can not tell the truth and act while you're doing it. Drop the badass act, dude. You're not scaring anybody. You're not fooling anybody. I mean, maybe like the 1% who look at you and say, oh, it's Robert De Niro. Maybe we should listen to him. No, dude. People wanna hear logic. People wanna hear the truth. And if you're just spitting out crap or out there acting, no one's buying it. They stood there, they didn't have to. And there were other ones in there who probably were in with them a little bit too, and they found a way to get around. Not these guys. They stood there and fought for us, for you. For you. No, they weren't fighting for me. No, no, they fought for you, buddy. You're able to stand right here now. Yeah, dude, why don't you sit there and stroke one of these police officers if you haven't done it enough already? I mean, my God. I mean, isn't this exhausting? Don't people get exhausted of sitting there and lying? Well, I'm exhausted of it, and a lot of people are. In fact, people really got on Robert De Niro's nerves. Check this out. You touch kids! You touch kids! You loser! We're, in a gen we're trying to be gentlemen in this world, the You're Democrats. Right. You are gangsters. Excuse me. You are gangsters. You're washed up. Fuck you. You're a softy. You're a nobody. You're trash. You're trash. You're done. You're done after this, my guy. They're gangsters? Have you seen the news, man? Are you that out of touch with reality right now? These people aren't gangsters. They're people who are fighting for the country. If you want to see gangsters, go to downtown Chicago or St. Louis. Let's be real here, man. Drop the act. I know you're an actor. I know that's hard for you to do, but drop it. So what can we get from this? Should people listen to Robert De Niro simply because he has movies? No. In fact, I urge everybody to not look at somebody's status, but to look at what they're legitimately saying. You know, famous people say some stupid stuff sometimes. Smart people say some stupid stuff sometimes. But just because you've got a status in the world, doesn't mean that you can go up there and be a dumbass. Pretty simple.